was a really good plot with nice clover in it. Now it's a grass plot because nobody sprayed it, nobody mowed it. I frost seeded this last spring. You might have seen the video. It's very frustrating to put in work and effort and money and time and then nobody gives a shit and then they you get a landowner that just doesn't want to take the time to maintain one hour a couple times a year look at the seed on my hand once you let this stuff go to seed this is full of gra uh, crab grass it's full of um, I don't know what the name of this grass is this real fine stuff and of course you have your jet Japan grass, okay? Lots and lots of Japan grass, all going to seed. So now, next spring, when you expect there to be a clover plot here, there's going to be another Japan grass plot, and foxtail probably. I got rid of the foxtail. There's very little in here, but just made room for other grass. I do have clover hiding down in there, but... Once you let them go, then it's years to get them back, or a lot of money. So, maintain your food plots. I mean, look at this. How many seeds do you think are on my hand? That's just a hand whip. I didn't plant that many clover seeds, I'll tell you that. On a happier note, Acorns. This is what you want to see for deer health to fatten up for the winter. These are chestnut oak acorns and uh, chestnut oaks I find are more prolific than any of the other oaks around here. That's a chestnut oak leaf. Uh, there is a lot of acorns underneath this particular tree. Now with oaks what you want to do before you have a harvest, if you're a hunter, is to go through the woods, pick out the trees that are doing this. And for God's sakes, don't cut them. Look at all the acorns. Now, this isn't land that I can hunt on, but if, if I could hunt here, I would definitely be hanging a stand. This thing is going to be putting out acorns for the next couple weeks. Uh, opening days is two weeks from tomorrow, I guess. And um, this would be a great spot to be in the evening. So, anyway. There's about... There's a good hundred pounds of them here anyway. And they all came down because of this heavy, heavy rain we've been getting. Just constantly raining. Now we got a hurricane coming. We'll get the remnants of that too. So it's going to rain even more. Um, a lot of that stuff back there is just drowning. So last year it was too dry in September. This year it's too wet in September. So you just can't win sometimes. Be sure and hit the like and subscribe button and click on the bell so you'll be notified when there's a new video. And comment down below and let me know if there's anything you'd like to know more about.